uh, congratulations, Southern. <clears throat> Coach Barry, they did a great job. And um, they fought to play another ball game, two or three, who knows. They're um, taking play, and hats off to them. I want to thank uh, Ole Miss and the hospitality. They ran a first-class regional. The fans were um, deserve a round of applause as well because a lot of times it gets a little nasty, and there was none of that. They're very, very classy. Um, I've heard a lot of good things you know, about the way they run the tournament and their fans. Um, had some, some things not go our way, uh, some self-inflicted wounds, but um, it, was a, it was difficult saying goodbye to the seniors and um, it was very emotional, but I just thanked them, every single one of them, all they've been through. It's, um, it's been a tough year, especially for young adults and um, questions. Brett. I mean, it seemed that Boyd and Awkward were pretty much polar opposites on the mound with Awkward with the fastball and um, Boyd going mostly off the off speed. Just how much of a challenge does that present to you guys to make adjust adjustments like that mid game with, with two guys like that? Yeah, it's a, it's a good strategy. You try to, you know, when you talk about spin rate and guys that can back spin it versus guys that are sinking it and, you know, both coming from the same side. Um, you know, we've done some of that this year and, um, you know, they did a really good job and um, they're tough. And again, they put bat on the ball. They do a lot of things very well. They're fundamentally sound, well taught. And um, you can see why they're a top 20 team and, you know, we're a host site a couple of weeks ago. Aria. Meet, what are you going to remember most about this team now that it's all said and done? Well, Obviously, this team, every team has its own you know, personality and identity. Um, you know, I've been with some selfless guys before. Um, but this group, with you know, the people couldn't be around. We had, okay, this guy's contact trace. Guys had to pick up the slack, you know, carrying stuff, um, doing things that, you, you know, power five baseball players have never done before. And they were asked an awful lot, cleaning dugouts and you know, sanitizing hands and don't do this, don't do that. And you know, they lived in you know, fear for a long time. And, you know, it was, it's, again, a lot to ask out of teenagers and young adults and um, selfless they are. And I told them I want their chins up and chests out and they did the absolute best they could. And that's, that's what it's all about. You never guaranteed anything in life. And um, we learn and we grow and we, you know, do the best we can. Kurt. How do you kind of evaluate Connor's outing and then the decision to send him back out in the seventh? Was that made mostly out of, I mean, obviously a low pitch count and knowing kind of the amount of arms and trying to save guys, knowing how many, how many, how much it was going to take to get out of the regional, out of uh, an elimination bracket? If there would have been any hiccups at all, um, yeah, you know, he does, he's not going back, but he rolled and the velocity was there. The sharpness was there. I went to Nelly, you know, his pitch count was low. I said, we try to get him, you know, another few outs, whatever, if we can, you know, keep it going. And, um, you know, it didn't work out. Sometimes you make the right decision. Sometimes you don't. And obviously there's some things that didn't work out for us and that falls on me. Brett. I mean, obviously, when you came in, you, you guys have a certain uh, mindset for what you want to do in recruiting. And now after having a first full season, I guess, is there any change to what you guys look for after seeing what works for you and, and what doesn't? Or is it just, um, you know, business as usual for you guys going into recruiting now? Well, a lot of it's, you know, in the last since you know, I got my guys um, cleared to, to go out and, and we started out going out just for a short period. And then of course, it's been everything's been through video ever since and FaceTimes and everything else, um, you know, think recruiting is going very, very well. And uh, we're excited to, you know, because we all three enjoy it and we're going to go and we'll be on the road as soon as we get back home. And um, we're going to be doing a lot. You know, we got to have exit meetings and see where guys are at. Some guys, you know, well, it happens every year, you know, playing time or heaven forbid some money issue or whatever the case may be. There'll, there'll be, you know, some things you know, shuffled around, but um, we're in a good, very good place recruiting. Aria. 
I mean, obviously later this summer, uh, a lot of people have figured out that, you know, Nelly's pretty good. Um, and, and you've coached some great catchers, but what has he meant to this program and, and uh, just the, the development of him over the years to become what he has become? Yeah, you know, it's like a proud papa. Um, you know, I got to reminisce a little bit and, you know, I took him, we were laughing. I came to camp and I went and watched him and he was playing on a field that wasn't even regulation. He was so young. He was the first guy that I've ever done that with to, you know, take it was either after his eighth grade year or after his freshman year in the summer and to offer. And he bought in, he kept coming to camp. We developed an incredible relationship and, you know, he's going to get exactly what he deserves. And he's, he's brought an awful lot to the program, of course, from a talent standpoint, but just the way you go about your business and the way you treat people and, um, you can't tell if he's 0 for 4 or 4 for 4. And, you know, that's – especially this day and age, that's hard to find. Back to Kurt. This is your, your second year atop the program, but obviously the first year where you got to kind of the full experience, postseason, all that. I guess what what lessons did you kind of learn getting to go through an entire season for the first time as a head coach? Um, the exercise to get rid of stress. Um, that's one thing that um, – you know, because there's a lot of things going on, you know, in your mind with different scenarios and, you know, all the information that we have, you know, in regards to what a guy hits off fastballs, what he hits off left-handers, what he hits off, you know, breaking stuff and, you know, what what's my guy doing? And sometimes I think you can get a little system overload and, instead of just going, you know, with your, your gut, your hunch. And, um, you know, balancing that is, 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 you know, not easy, but I'll get better at it. 